Hello, and welcome to Gladeville Middle School. We've made this video for our new students. Whether you're an incoming sixth grader or just new to our district, we wanted to introduce you to our staff, give you a tour of the building, show you ways to get involved, provide your parents with some important information, and a whole lot more. So come on in and let's get started. I'm Bethany Wilson, principal of Gladeville Middle School, and I'm so excited to welcome each and every one of you to the Wildcat family. Our goal this year is to keep you, our students, at the center of all we do. Hi, I'm Kelly Vallis, and I'm the assistant principal for students in the eighth grade and also students in the seventh grade with last names A through K. And I'm Jordan Simpkins. I'm the assistant principal over sixth grade and the other half of seventh grade, last names L through Z. Of course, we offer math, language arts, science, and social studies, and we also offer a wide variety of exploratory classes. We offer art, band, music, choir, theater, journalism, PE, strength and conditioning, health science, agriculture, STEM, and coding. We also provide students intervention if needed in math and reading, and qualifying students will receive enrichment via our SEEK program. Most of our exploratory classes last only a semester, but some, such as band and choir, last all year. All of our exploratory classes rotate on an A-B schedule. The majority of students here at GMS take four exploratory classes a year. And those are some of the things that just happen during the day at GMS. We also have tons of clubs and activities. Some of them include the school band, who hold concerts and perform regularly at events, and the showstoppers have multiple annual stage performances in our amazing auditorium. GMS students also love to show off their artistic skills in our art club, and I'm pretty sure that this year's yearbook staff is already planning their next publication. Gladeville has a strong agriculture presence and our award-winning FFA meets and competes regularly. We also promote student leadership and our growing student council. Many of our students are avid readers and the Battle of the Books Club is a fun way to engage in literature. And Project Selflessness gives our students an opportunity to be intentional about helping one another. And that's just a handful. We also have Beta Club, Audition Choir, FCA, Robotics, Model UN, and the Pets and Wildlife Services Club, with more happening every year. And don't forget about athletics. GMS may be a new school, but we are strong in athletics. In the fall season, we have football, cross country, girls soccer, volleyball, cheerleading, and dance. Cheer and dance are also sports held in the winter. Boys and girls basketball and wrestling. Our spring sports are baseball, softball, tennis, track and field, boys soccer, as well as golf and bowling, which both take place at sites off campus. All of our sports have different meeting and tryout windows, some just before the season and others as early as six months beforehand. Make sure you check the athletic page on our website at wcschools.com gms or contact the coach directly to find out those times. If you are new to our district and you have missed a tryout, we will do our best to fairly accommodate you if it is still possible. Now that you've seen our beautiful athletic facilities, it's time to take a tour of our building because our building is big. No, it's really big. No, seriously, it's huge. Most of the time, you will enter and exit through these doors into our commons area. Our commons area is also our beautiful cafeteria. This is where you'll eat lunch every day and have the opportunity to eat breakfast every morning. It's also right next to our gorgeous auditorium. We are so proud of this beautiful space where musicals, assemblies, and concerts are held year round. At this end of the building, we have one of our two spiral staircases. This one is technically our back staircase, but it's the first one you will see when you enter the building each day. 
At this end of the building, we have many of our exploratory classrooms, which are located down the 300 hallway and up these stairs. Speaking of the stairs, it's important to remember that at GMS, we always have an up staircase and a down staircase. You'll know which is which by looking at the arrows on the floor. Next, we will go to the front of the building, which is where the majority of our classes are held. If you're new to Gladeville as a sixth grader, most of your science classes will be in this hallway. However, the rest of your classrooms will be down this hallway, including your math, your English, and your social studies classes. In fact, other than maybe an exploratory class or two, almost all of your classes will be downstairs. That's right next to the front of the school, where you'll find our main office and our counseling office. Just across the stairwell is another hallway, including the nurse's clinic and more classrooms. But that's just the downstairs. Upstairs at the front of our building, we have a beautiful library that we're very proud of. It houses tons of books that are tailored specifically for middle school students. Up here, you can also access all of our seventh and eighth grade classes. As a seventh and eighth grade student, all of your classes will be held up here with the exception of the exploratory classes. As we go back here into our main hallway, you will find several science laboratories that are available for teachers and accessible at all times. The state-of-the-art technology at Gladeville Middle School is something we are very proud of, and there is no better place to show it off than our beautiful STEM hallway. GMS has two Z-Space labs where students can take part in simulated reality programs for any of our subjects. And all of our science labs are fully equipped for almost anything that our teachers and students would want to explore. I'm here in our school counseling office, which is the place where students come to get many needs met. We have two counselors here at GMS, Katie Mosley, who works with sixth graders and seventh graders with the last name of L through Z, and Megan LaRock, who works with our eighth grade students and our seventh graders with the last name of A through K. Our school psychologist, Emily Blurs, also has an office in this department, as does our registrar. Hi, I'm Devine Blankenship, and I'm your new SIS registrar at GMS. I will take care of all your registration needs and getting your child enrolled in our school here. Our school website is also a great way to access many of the tools and resources that you will need. On our homepage, click on the Students and Family tab at the top of the page. That will bring you to a page where nearly all of our links are stored in one place. On the left bar, you can also access the student recognition page, a live feed from our Facebook page, PTO information, and daily updates to transportation information. One of the most important resources you'll need is our district-wide student management system, Skyward. Make sure when accessing Skyward that you use a link for student and family access. Skyward is where you will find your students' information, such as schedules, grade information, and transcripts. Skyward is also our district's data management system. In it will be contact information, parental permissions, and legal guardianship. If you are new to our district, please make sure that you register with Skyward as soon as possible. If you are a returning student to our district, please make sure that you go in and update all of your information so that we have it as accurate as possible. Our Students and Family page also has a link to the district transportation website. There you can look up your student's designated bus route and scheduled pickup and drop off times. And speaking of transportation, if you arrive on the campus by car, you'll generally use this front entrance from Stewart's Ferry Pike. During the middle of the school day, we ask that you only access the front of the building into the school. However, if you're arriving for pickup or drop off, you'll follow this one way road around the building. We begin school at 845, but begin our arrival process at 815. If you arrive in the morning before that time, you'll wait at this stop sign. The same is true in the afternoon before our dismissal at 345. Please do not use the side entrances at any time during arrival or dismissal. Generally in both the morning and afternoon, we will begin by loading and unloading all buses that have already arrived. 
Once they have cleared, a staff member will direct cars to pull forward in the line. Please make sure you pull all the way to the very front of the line or up to the furthest car. Sometimes the line stops and then continues forward again. Proceed as far forward as possible. No student is to unload or load cars until given a signal by the nearest staff member. During drop-off, teachers will signal both verbally and with their hands to unload all at once for both lines. In the afternoon, students are to wait on the sidewalk until the staff member nearby gives a signal to load up. Please do not stop or beckon your student to load, even if they are right in front of you. Please pull all the way forward and the student will come to you only when a staff member has signaled for them to do so. Once it is deemed safe, a staff member will signal for cars in one lane to begin pulling forward. Please do not move your vehicle until you are signaled to move, even if for some reason there is a gap in the line. If your car line is moving forward, but your student has not yet loaded for some reason, please continue forward, even if the student is now moving towards you. It is now unsafe for them to cross into the car line. As you turn the corner, simply pull around into the side parking lot. That way, once all the lines have stopped again, your student can safely cross with the next group loading up over to you. In the morning, we ask that all students arrive by 8.35 and no later than 8.40 to ensure they're able to get to class ready and on time. In the afternoon, we ask that all parents arrive no later than 4 o'clock to pick up their students. If you do arrive late or need anything during the school day, you will need to come to our front entrance and press the buzzer when someone in the office will greet you. Hi, can I help you? Yes, I need to drop off my student. Sure, come on in. We take attendance very seriously here at Gladewell Middle School because we want all students to succeed. Now Ms. Green is going to give you a few tips about attendance. If you have to leave early or if you're coming in late, you're going to need to turn in a note. If you have a doctor's excuse or a parent note, please turn those in within three days of your absence. If you don't, it will stand as an unexcused absence. If you need any further information, please let us know. We're always here to help. Okay. So that was a whole lot of information all at once. And middle school can be a pretty nerve-wracking time as students make the transition from elementary school to down the street at Wilson Central High School. They have a lot of great people. But don't worry, everyone here at Gladeville Middle School is committed to every student learning and growing. And we can't wait to meet you. Welcome to Gladeville!